best case scenario is the game goes on as planned. It's a little wet. It's a little chilly. We get the win. Everything's okay, right? Right. Uh, the other possibility <laughs> is that you know the game could be postponed. We we have no knowledge of that at this point, mm -hmm. but it's a possibility just based on the weather. If the d game does go on, it will either be the coldest on record or the second coldest on record. We'll get into that in just a moment in terms of the home openers. That is 56 degrees temperature right now downtown Denver. Uh, sun came up at 6:38 this morning. It will set this evening about 20 minutes after seven. It's so nice. The day's getting longer and longer. At normal high temperature this time of year, 59. Back on Monday it was. 74. We're getting temperature whiplash here this week. Yesterday it was 48. Today we go back up to about 66 or so, way above normal. Tomorrow will be nearly identical to today in almost every way. It's going to feel the same. It's going to look the same tomorrow. And then Friday we drop down to 42 for the Rockies home opener. And that 42 is if we're lucky. Right now in Boulder it's 52. We're up to 56 currently in Fort Collins. And that's about where we are here at CBS 4 downtown Denver. Mountain area is currently in the 30s and 40s. A little bit of wind in the mountains gusts up to about 45 miles per hour today especially along the Continental Divide and mountain areas above 10,000 feet. A lot of wind in southeast Wyoming as well. We've got a high wind warning up around Cheyenne and Laramie for gusts up to about 45 miles per hour. And then down the other direction to the south, we're concerned about the fire danger. Red flag warning until 6 p.m. for all these areas shaded in the red color from South Park all the way down to Raton Pass and then over towards Springfield up toward Yuma County. We've got that red flag warning as well. Clouds have been on the increase from the west all day. That's going to continue to be the trend through the rest of today. On the east coast, there's a concern about severe weather. That's the cold front that came through here back on Monday night that's approaching uh, states like New Jersey and Delaware and the uh, far east stretches of Virginia there. On the other side of that front, is us. That front sitting just to the east of uh, the Denver area. It's going to make its way back toward the metro area as we get into uh, Friday. And as that front moves in, it's going to produce the upslope necessary for clouds, chilly temperatures, and precipitation. Right now, it looks like it's going to start as cold rain in Denver and then transition into snow. Preliminary snow forecast not showing much, maybe an inch, mainly on the grass. That could include the grass at Coors Field. And then northern Colorado, maybe two to three inches, again, mainly on the grass. Mountain area is looking up to a half a foot of accumulation with this. And again, that's going to be total from Thursday night through Friday night. If we're lucky, first pitch temperature at Coors Field, 41, ninth inning, 39. Wind chills will be colder than that. And right now, we're thinking at least an 80% chance for precipitation. So again, that possibility that there may be a postponement. But then again, the game could go on as scheduled. So we'll, of course, keep you posted on that. For the weekend, it looks better. Games two and three with the Braves Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it'll be mainly dry. Saturday night, there's a small chance for a little bit of rain. It's a storm that'll move across the state this weekend, keeping some snow in the mountains Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday. And again, maybe a little bit of rain Saturday night in Denver. But if it rains here, it's not going to be much. Well, we need the rain, just maybe not on the big game. Yeah, I know. We're getting the timing all wrong on this, right? <laughs> Thank you, Ashton, for that. Coming